Mitchell Hamdi. I walk into your headquarters and I'm, I can't believe it, but I'm hit with competing products. Why, why is it even here? This is a shelf. When you go to a retail store, one, you know, and this is what you see. It's extremely here because we want to be closer to the consumers. What do they see? Because the, the, the amount of time that you spend on the shelf, with it, it, it's, it's a seconds. And they're confused. And our job is to how to make it simplify and how to make it easier for them to shop and how do we get our brands to shine. And we see that our brand is here as like a light in the darkness. This is all. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's, a, that's a good point because the category, the other category has been under pressure. Greek, not so much, but what are, what are some of these other brands? Are they confusing the consumer? What is not, what's not connecting with them? You know, the knowledge of the consumer, what they want is a lot greater than the um, access, mm -hmm. than the availability. Mm -hmm. People thought, oh, I make the yogurt in France certain way, mm -hmm. less sweet, mm -hmm. less ingredients, mm -hmm. but when it comes to America, mm -hmm. I'll put all that stuff in there. Why? Oh, Americans won't eat it unless it's there. No, 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 no. That wasn't the case. When they saw something available, they bought it for themselves and they bought it for their, for their, uh, for their families. Um, you know, we have to start acting like food makers. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. Here, we wake up in the morning, we think about food, we think about yogurt, until the late. We, we are close to our customers, we are close to our consumers. You don't see, you know, suit and tie in these places. You see yogurt makers, you see food makers, and that's what we're supposed to do. How, you know, you seem like a pretty laid back guy, smiley, energetic. I mean, how maniacal are you to take down the competition? I mean, how focused are you really going after these guys? Every day, every day. And my, my, own, my aim is not to bring down the competitors. My aim to bring Chobani to every household. Mm -hmm. In the result, some losers because they're not doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. But I mean it when I say it. It's in our benefit and it's in everybody's benefit if everybody does it right. Mm -hmm. Take the pres preservatives out, take the bad ingredients out. Mm -hmm. Bring the craftsmanship into the yogurt making and the food making. Mm -hmm. Be close to the, your consumers. Mm -hmm. Then, every you know, yogurt market in this country is underdeveloped. Yeah. If you compare America to Canada, we are half by capita. If you look at the Europe, four times, sometimes eight times. If we bring the magic back, which we, with Chobani it happened, but we need to do more, there is room for everybody. Mm -hmm. It's not that I want to get the competitors down. I want to fight the bad food and I want to bring the good food in. You know, we've heard a lot this year on retailers, foot traffic is weak, it's tepid, they're not visiting the stores. So are you seeing strength online? Are you seeing that outpace with what the retail space is doing? It certainly is. The world is changing. Yeah. You know, some of our retail partners are seeing that and they're coming up with solutions. I think, you know, the next four, five, ten years is going to be full of wonders between brands and companies and the consumers. Mm -hmm. And I think it's going to be the golden days of the brands. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're close to your consumer, you have this connection is made, mm -hmm. they'll find a way to get you whichever the way. Sure. But the technology is going to be amazing for for the uh, for the people, you know, I have to ask. You know, as somebody who came up, you got Trabani products that I came in contact with was was in Whole Foods, and you're not there right now. But how do you see it playing out? The Amazon deal, Whole Foods. How does it impact a brand at this point? Yeah, we are, we're going to be there in August. Oh wow! We're going to be in back Whole, in Whole Foods. In back in the Whole Foods, but this was before this deal. Yeah. You know, and it, it will be amazing to see. You know, as as I said, there's a lot of stuff is going on. You know, we grow up, the milkman bringing you your milk and you know, your yogurt, your bread at the door from the fresh, mm -hmm. right? Um, I think one side of the world is going to go that early days and the other side is going to marry with the technology. Mm -hmm. But in the end, this connection between the consumer and the food makers mm -hmm. or anything makers and the personalization mm -hmm. is going to be the future. Was it the, the not taking out the non-GMO? Is that how it got back? No, we, were, we never had it. Never had it. <laughs> never had it. So it's just that was all mis yeah. misunderstanding. Gotcha. We've never changed our product from day one. Mm -hmm. We've always been careful about our ingredients. Mm -hmm.